for? Uh, my name is Jeffrey the King. Um, I'm five foot four. Um, I like fishing oversized hooks. Um, Three odds or fours? Uh, four odds. Four odds. No. <laughs> Okay, so this morning we are going out to the first annual Cast and Crank Toy Drive and it's going to be a good time. There's going to be a lot of big name people. Mike Gilbert's going to be there, Butch Brown, Jerry Rago, as well as some of the other homies that you guys should already kind of know. Jared, all the way from Texas, is going to be out there. Bash Jack, Jason's going to be there. The Purcells are going to be there. So there's going to be a lot of big names and a lot of people at this event. Right now, we gotta hit the road because it is late o'clock and we gotta get there at a certain time. So, we gotta go, let's go. So we finally made it here. I got one of the best parking spots. It's like four miles away from the actual event. But we got a lot of stuff to carry over there. And I think it's going to be a huge turnout for this one. Seems like there's already like a lot of dudes and it's only like 930 right now. So we're going to take a lot of the stuff over there. And we're going to just hang out for the rest of the day. Shoot some stuff. Talk to some random dudes that are going to be here. And uh, just have a good time. So let's go. I want them to drop me for a walk away. Still doing this? That's slow? Yes, sir. Because it was good. As far as I saw. Yeah. You know, like, you know, but. Dude, it's yeah. All right. What are we signing? <laughs> this is the, the greatest fisherman I've ever met right here. You're lying, bro. Yeah, I got lucky. <laughs> I gotta get the shot. Look at that signature. So professional. <laughs> he doesn't have any more. All right. Yeah. So you know, we get we get your stuff so we can help other people try to help them win. Yeah. Awesome, man. Really? No. No. Okay. Thank you. I was like saying that. Just gotta get the like, shot. Yeah. <laughs> and then the most famous model here, Seth. How do you pick up beautiful French women? Let's go like this. Because I know that you have all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> Just vibing, getting shots. I had chartreuse too. I bet that shit. So I got, I got mine. My God! What's up? Hey, dude, good to see you, man. Huh? You have an age. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's salt water, bro. Is that what? No, I'm kidding. You've been killing him or what? Yeah, back and forth. Yeah. You know how... hey. are the legendary Jared Swagford. Yeah, Jared Swafford. Um, I started fishing every day January 1st of 2020. I'm on day 705 today. Um, That's a long I don't time, dude. Long time. Um, I still haven't caught the fish I'm looking for, though, so I'm going to continue on, you know? And uh, your boat is in pristine condition, right? Boat is perfect. You fish it's out of like meant... 2021? Yes. Yeah. And if anyone is interested in it, I'm selling it for five grand. No. <laughs> I don't know. This is the greatest interview I've ever um, conducted. You asked me a question. Um, how many DDs have you caught in this journey? Four. Four DDs, Four. and how many nine pounders have you caught? 4D. 4D. Yeah, we just So when will this end? What is, what is the goal with this fishing every day thing? A uh, teen. A teener. Or 800. Okay. 800 is the record, but I might continue until I find the teen. Well, have you found the teener before? Yes. Maybe dumped it maybe at the boat one night on a battleship. All right, last one. Three, nine, three, two, three, three, two. Just like, it's always like, uh, 
Trap bass baits custom. <laughs> Dude. You. Still Fat. making baits, huh? Always. Almost 10 years now. When are you going to stop? Yeah, let us know how you do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I am. <laughs> so, Chris, what do you have to say about this event? This think, is like your fifth event this year? It's tough, you know, doing everything that we do, but I'm really appreciative for Nick putting this all together. I think the turnout's been great. Um, it's really neat to see when the community comes together and we can have a common cause and everybody brings toys and does it all big. It's, it's nice to see everybody and I hope that we're able to do things uh, like this in the future going forward. It's, uh, it's important for us. Yeah. Practically didn't exist. And a lot of it, I mean, dudes were swimming through us hours trying to get that trick. It never happened. Just One. So, who are you? What is your company name? <laughs> I think if you give it a try, you'll, uh, you know, I don't want to be an advertiser. A little bit of rip band and twitching and. How about that? Um, it's uh... Are you taking a film of me? I am filming of you. Yeah, is it a film <laughs> or a picture? <laughs> Scratch and sniff, bro. What's up, buddy? Are you the maker of this? I am. What do you have to say for yourself? Mr. Danky the Delta Deuce? Um, it's not molded from a real turd. I just not? want to let people know that. Really? It's our ditch pickle. I see. It's just painted with the perfect hue of poo, though. You know what I'm saying? It took strategic, uh, strategic color placement to make it look the way that it did. Hours of effort. Beautiful. Appreciate that. Really beautiful. I had a good time with that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. Standing down and then... To that limit, uh, a fishing game guy named Mark, and I sat on this spot and I watched the fish move up. Okay, guys, just got back home from the event. It was an awesome event that Nick put on from Cast and Crank Podcast. A lot of toys were brought, a lot of baits were brought and bought. So it was a really good event, a lot of cool people, some absolute legends in the swimmate community were there. They had three guest speakers, Mike Gilbert, Jerry Rago, and of course, Butch Brown. So if you guys wanted to go listen to those podcasts, Nick will probably have them up within like the next month or so. So if you guys wanted to check out Nick's podcast, I will of course leave a link down in the description below if you guys wanted to check out the podcast they're pretty good he's got a lot of big name people on the podcast so yeah overall it was a really good event with all the people that were shown in the video i will leave links to like their instagrams and their companies if you guys wanted to check them out of course they all are stand-up dudes and we're just all having a good time in the swimming community so other than that thank you guys so much for watching and as always go out there and chase your dreams